I'm Steve Hassenplug, and this is Monster Chess. It's a very large Lego chess set. It took four of us about a year to design and build. There's about 100,000 Lego pieces, and it's about $30,000 worth of Lego. If you look at it, you can see all the, the pieces are different heights. So like the, the, the more important pieces are the bigger heights, which is the way it really is in chess. The higher ranking pieces will actually have actions that they can do. Like the knight, whenever it's moving, it actually runs its legs. So you can see the legs moving. The, the rook actually has a cannon that it'll fire when it puts a king in check. The queen and king both have a scepter that they wrap. And then the bishop has a candle. And the pawns are just pawns, so they don't really do anything. The, the bases themselves is a Mindstorm kit, just all Lego parts. has the Mindstorms, it has two motors, it has uh, two motors for driving, and then one motor to activate something in the body. It has four color sensors so it can see the different colors on the boards. And then these are designed so that they can actually stack up. So when they're being transported, it's pretty easy to, to stack them up and, and carry them. The board itself is, again, all Lego. These are just a 48 by 48 base plate. This one, we have marked so we can know where the square goes. But the robots all have the color sensors on them so they can identify the, the patterns in the middle. And the, the blue is located in the same spot on all the squares. And then the others make up a unique pattern. So the, all the different patterns on the board are unique. So it can identify the row and the column based on the, the color pattern. Just like in chess, when you when you capture a piece, you put it on your side of the board. So here the pieces will just move by themselves to the other side behind the other pl the other uh, other pieces. I have a handful of games that were played by world champions. Most of them are I, I narrowed it down, so I've got about a dozen different games that are maybe eight to or four to eight moves, pretty short games. And then I have one, the one we just played, where it's actually a game that I created that shows all the different functions of the of the entire set where every different piece is putting the king in check and every different piece is captured we even have uh, castling we have en passant we have uh, promotion where a pawn gets promoted to a queen are these fairly sturdy so that if they run into each other and stuff they aren't falling apart all the time or anything like that the bases are extremely sturdy where yeah they'll, they'll bump into each other a lot and that's not a problem at all the bodies, really, the bodies aren't hitting one another, so there's not a big problem with those either. Yeah. Normally, at shows like this, we'll just play replay saved games, like the short games, which I'll usually play three or four games, uh, which takes about 15 minutes. And then we also have the longer game, like we just saw, which takes about 20 minutes. We've had it, we have it set up so that actually people can play against each other, which a lot of times the kids will have fun doing that, but it's not a really exciting chess game to watch. <laughs> and so w that's where we, we just learned it, it works out better for the shows like this just to replay saved games.